People with asthma have sensitive airways which react to triggers in a way that makes it difficult to breathe. In the UK, about 5.4 million people are currently receiving treatment for asthma. Before the pandemic, asthma attacks would typically kill three people every day. Asthma symptoms are often worse over winter because there are lots of seasonal triggers, such as cold weather, colds and flu and chest infections. At the start of the pandemic, many asthmatics opted to self-isolate to prevent themselves getting infected because they already knew that they were vulnerable to respiratory infections. If you have asthma, you normally qualify to receive an annual flu jab. Because asthmatics isolated, relatively few were hospitalised early on in the pandemic. When vaccines were released, despite the known increased risk from respiratory infections in asthmatics, the early data on COVID outcomes led JCVI to exclude asthmatics from priority groups unless their asthma was particularly severe. Many felt this was not an appropriate decision. Nevertheless, many GPs did allow asthmatic patients to receive a vaccine early on. In June, JCVI issued their COVID booster interim advice. All people in an influenza at risk group were included, which was obviously a great relief for asthmatics. However, in the final version, only those with poorly controlled asthma were eligible. This meant that for most asthmatics, there would be no priority booster. This U-turn comes at a time when people with asthma are entering the worst season of the year, and also when COVID deaths with asthma as a pre-existing condition increased by 46 in the last week and by 212 in the last month. In fact, in England, since March 2020, on average nearly 13 people with asthma as a pre-existing condition died every day with COVID. Chronic low respiratory disease, of which 81% is asthma, moved from fifth to third position out of the most common underlying health conditions linked with COVID deaths in quarter two of 2021. Many asthmatics are now more than six months since vaccination and their immunity will be waning. The current JCVI guidance uses a complex set of criteria to define those with poorly controlled asthma. These are the only ones eligible for boosters. This is silly when there's already a list of those eligible for flu jabs. The criteria are also based on the date of the JCVI statement, so anyone whose asthma worsened since this date has been disregarded. We are calling for the government to immediately reinstate all those with asthma on the influenza at risk list to the COVID booster programme, as per the JCVI's interim advice.